Hello, I'm Catherine Dolan, the Indiana Supreme Court Chief Public Information Officer. This is Indiana Court Times, the magazine and blog for Indiana judicial communication. Today, we're talking with Judge Les Shively of Vanderburg Superior Court. Judge Shively, welcome. You were appointed in 2013, and I know like right. your colleagues across the state, you are mindful of keeping your calendar moving. During right. COVID, you kept court operational as the county contracted to have court in the convention center. And so from what I understand, you really don't have a case backlog at this point. Tell us a little bit about that experience of holding court in the convention center and, and what it's like to sort of hopefully be coming out of COVID as best as we can say that uh, without a backlog. When this COVID situation hit, because we closed, everybody closed down and the Supreme Court allowed us to reopen if we had a plan. We had a, doozy of a plan because of the cooperation of the county and the city to allow us to use the convention facility, the display areas, for our courts, our high volume courts, and for selection of, of jurors. Uh, anything that involved a lot of people and social distancing, we were allowed to use that space. And because of the federal relief money, or COVID money, if you want to call it that for short, being available, the county, of course, couldn't have any conventions or any productions there, but they could have us. And they made money. County made money by having us use the courts. In fact, they had one of the, the second best year they've ever had in a long time. So it was kind of a win win situation. Plus, we were able to get started. When we started, I should say, we got started just like nothing had happened. Now we had a backlog, but we quickly worked through that. Let's talk about something non-court related for a second. Okay. I know you you love to travel, especially to head westward. Is Are you an adventure seeker or are you more of a relax and recharge kind of traveler? Uh, I'm a relax and recharge. In fact, I was a non-traveler till my wife and I got married 33 years ago. Shortly after we got married, she became a travel aide. And she was a firm believer, you can't sell it if you don't experience it. So she got me off the couch, got me out there, and we needed to have, have time so we could really enjoy the, the place we were going. So we started doing our, our vacation during the holiday season. And we've been to Hawaii, we've been to Europe, France, England, um, we've been to Australia, New Zealand, my wife has been a few, but we, we usually do the big trip during the holidays. And all, although I go kicking and screaming every year, I always come back saying, oh my gosh, what an experience. So I, I have to thank my wife for getting me moving and involved with travel. Your community is very important to you. And one of the things um, that you're working on right now is helping to develop a paralegal studies program. Tell us a little bit about that. Ivy Tech already has throughout the state an excellent paralegal studies program. The problem is the demand for paralegals by law firms and legal departments of various businesses and governmental units is exceeding the number of graduates we're putting out. I can't explain that, that disconnect, but one of the things we, we, we've started instituting, we started this semester, is allowing high school juniors and seniors to enter a dual credit program where at the end of their senior year in high school, they will have accumulated enough credits only to graduate from high school, but they get their associate degree in paralegal studies or their certificate and become marketable right after graduation. And we got our first uh, cohort of students this semester. And I'm gonna guest lecture to them um, in April but hopefully we'll pick up momentum. We got an underwriter for this class and we hope this will gain uh, numbers because it's a win-win deal. You get your degree uh, you, and you, you're readily marketable. You can get a job or you can go on to, uh, to a four-year institution. So I'm excited to see this develop. And, and we'd love to welcome those smart young people in into the judicial branch profession. So fantastic. Absolutely. 
Thank you so much, Judge Shively, for joining us for this Court Times sidebar. It's a pleasure to get to know you a little bit better. You can read more about Judge Shively at Court Times, as well as all of our other court initiatives at courts.in.gov.